Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Resident Let Evil 4. In the last part, I got through Chapter 1-1, and I skipped all the cutscenes. In this part, I have already skipped three cutscenes! Well, I guess if you, uh, se well, I, I separated, well, I sort of separate the cutscene from before and after the quick time event. So, whatever. So, yes, now we will move on to Chapter 1-2, and this is... Um, this is actually where the game, actually, I'm not sure if this is where the game gets really, uh, gets harder, because, um, I, I don't know, the what first, you the first area you you're in in the game is arguably selling? much, is arguably one of the hardest beginnings ever, because, like, for, for a beginning where Thank you really you. haven't gotten that much time to get used to your controls, Thank all of a sudden you're, th you're throw the entire boy? kitchen is sink is thrown at you. <laughs> Thank you. Know. you. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna buy anything, any of this, and like none of these I'm gonna buy. Like I'm gonna say it right now, when I do buy a rifle, it's gonna be at the castle. Uh, the shotgun, I'm gonna pick it up when I get back over there. And uh, TMP, you do get ammo for TMP, but it's not enough. Like it's so rare that I think you might as well just be better off selling it. Anyway, skip more cutscenes. Allow this guy to call everyone out. He will always call you out, by the way. There's no real way to stop him. Right. And this is a really hard place to try to knife people down when they're on the stairs because their body's sort of bent out of you. Oh, wow. The only place where it's really easier to kill the opponent on the stairs is our dynamite guys. And that's because they will always, almost always miss the uh, the dynamite throws and just hit it on the stairs. Although that was not an example of him being right next to it. He just threw it at me from way far away and still completely did not have a good grasp on where he throws. See? Right? They don't, the dynamite guys don't seem to want to get by the stairs. I think this may be a, a deliberate design choice so that uh, you don't, so that they don't accidentally corner you. I think they don't want the. I don't. I think they want it to be impossible for the merchant to be accidentally killed, and th that's why that decision may have been made. Because if you can't go in the house, you can't get near the merchant, and if you can't get near the merchant, you can't accidentally kill the merchant. Then again, we can still move in there, and I'm pretty sure they can still follow us. Fuck. Okay. Uh, consume the yellow herb. So why am I doing this and not shooting a bullet? Well, I don't want to. Fuck, I do. Whoa. All right. Oh, God! Ah! That, that might be the first time that's ever happened to me, but then again, I don't really, like, aim backwards in this area. That was weird. First time that's happened to me. Oh yes, in the effort of trying to save bullets, I have already taken like three damage. Ah, oh, and I missed out on, wait, no, I got the treasure, okay. Okay, there are two paths, left and right. You have to go through both of them eventually, but uh, I think this is a little bit easier. Okay, well this is the path I've always taken first. I could try clearing it out and then choosing to, ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, this is how I roll. Oh, whoa! Oh, fuck. Crap, please don't explode. Okay, now you can explode. Why you no explode? Ah, oh, slow down. Dang it. Man, I'm getting hit a lot here. I might die. And it's funny that I'm not die. I'm not gonna die because I'm, uh, because I'm like inexperienced or whatever. I'm far from it. It's that I'm not doing things you really should do, like use your gun. <laughs> I guess you could call this stubbornness at play here. Okay, 
get that. Let's see. Alright, I'm hoping no one's coming down the stairs. Whoa, that guy got close. Oh wow, three guys in a row that just died from knife shots. Alright. I was gonna call this something special, like mainly knife run, but you know, it's like I don't use the knife 100% of the time. I just like to use the knife a lot. And uh, it's hard to give a name around that when I'm not using the knife 100%. So anyway, let's get healed again. Because I didn't waste enough health. Anyway, I believe now I will have a rush of ganados come at me. Yep. Or a small rush, I should say. And these are the guys who are really dangerous, who are barehanded. Because, like, they when they come at you like that, they, uh, there's you're not safe for a long ways. Like, for they're coming at you much faster than they usually are, and because they're. Uh, and because their range is much longer than you might expect, simply backing away is not as much of an option as you, as you wish it could be. But thankfully, when you get really close, a lot of times they just won't do that. All right, I'm gonna take care of these guys just chilling on these rooftops because these guys get annoying. They'll, later on when you have to climb up here, they'll like, they'll like just chill up there and I think throw stuff at you. And this guy, I think I can make him explode. Why are dynam- why is this dynamite always cause me to waste ammo? Ah, fuck it. I don't know, maybe the sparks become the new- Oh, come on, I had the perfect shot too. Dang it! Come on. I hope those are sneaking up on me. Jesus Christ! I think I mispronounced that completely. I didn't mispronounce Christ. Man, this guy is tough! Jesus. Alright. I want to take the path down here. So I can collect these two. And I think actually a bunch of Ganalas might be coming down because like they tend to rush in here but I think that might only happen when I have both the pieces and I'm by the door. I guess the idea would be to encourage you to uh, run away and just take the quick exit but I'm just like fuck that, kill them all. And it's interesting that unlike other Resident Evil games where the reward for killing an enemy was really just the levity or really just the the, uh, the knowledge of knowing that they're not going to come back to bite you because in previous Resident Evil games, because it was so much, such a heavy backtracking, uh, enemies that you beat once weren't going to come back for a while and until like new enemies come back such as hunters or, or, or like flickers in Resident Evil 2, um, they would not be, they, uh, it would really be beneficial when you could kill someone. The problem is like how much bullets you waste and whether or not you need more in another uh, area. Okay. Fuck, I missed. Okay. This is always the difficult thing about having less health than standard. Oh my god, where did he come from? I, I'm, if you don't know, I'm wearing headphones right now. It, it, nothing's playing, but, like, I don't hear the audio. The audio I'm hearing is kind of muffled, and dang it. Probably should take them off, but then, uh, it, in order to get the microphone stable, I would have to, like, rim it, rim it around my glasses. And doing that is, like, kind of uncomforting. Anyway, 
Oh, wow, I didn't kill him. Okay. Uh, let's see. Time to collect random ammo everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. No one's coming in through this door. I'll just take these shotgun shells. I believe, yes, there is always at least one guy up here. Oh, you should go. oh, damn it! That was a sniper shot, Jesus. Goodness gracious. And now another rush of enemies, I believe, will start. Whenever you get a key item or visit a certain location, new enemies will pop up. But they don't seem to be doing that. Oh. I guess they're done. Music's calm. Well, there's no music anymore. And there's just no one there. So let's see when the people will follow me. Let's see when they will come. Hmm. I guess I killed all the things. Okay. So anyway, we've finished with the area. And now I will finish up by using this hexagonal emblem. Now we can move on to the next region. The next region... I'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to be. It looks like it's some kind of factory, but... At the same time, what would they produce? It's been sort of sh shown that most of the people who lived in the region were farmland workers, so I gotta wonder what they were producing. Or, or who knows, maybe they weren't necessarily subsistence farmers. And... You know, merely did... Uh, actually, who knows, maybe they were purely subsistence farmers. And this is how they got Moonies to the area to get o uh, other things. You know, maybe they... Uh, it's been explained later on that this place, this place had mines. So, it could be... It is possible that... Uh, that maybe they were harvesting jewels. That would explain all the random uh, jewelry around. God. Fuck! You blindsided me. Shit! Okay. Oh, wow. I'm letting myself take too much damage. I'm not even, like... I, I don't even think I'm making mistakes. I think I'm just letting them make... I, I think I'm just deliberately going into this scenario, deliberately handicapping myself, and because of pure situation, or, like, just my lack of knowledge about this game. I do have quite a bit of knowledge about this game, but I don't know absolutely everything. I think it's just my... Uh, me being a little too cocky. That might be it. Who knows? Okay, let's see. Anyway, there's enemies over here. All of them throw dynamite. But trying to get them before they throw dynamite is tricky. So I'm just going to jump out here in the safest window and try to hit them. Ah, oh, darn. And try to hit whoever throws dynamite. Hmm. Got it. For some reason, it's th easier to hit dynamite that's being thrown at you. It could be that the motion uh, gives it a larger hitbox or something. Okay. You gotta hit these bear traps, otherwise you can't get to the ammo stash fireplace, because isn't that where you put your ammo? I actually do hear there are a lot of people who apparently store their guns in their ovens uh, just in case, you know, to have a place where no one looks. And when they forget that that's there and try to cook something, like, they accidentally sometimes set the bullets or guns off. Uh, particularly when the guns are actually, or particularly when the bullets are still in the gun. Like, that's when it's most dangerous. You guys have a lot of moonies left on them. Whoa! I forgot that this guy's sometimes here. So you might have noticed a mask that was behind a window of, of boarded up wood. Well, we can break one of those boarded up woods, and right here is the mask. It has three indentations that you might have noticed up top. And those three indentations are where you can put more jewels to make it more valuable than it would if I had so sold the individual components. 
uh, just like the beer stein. However, the elegant mask is a little bit more difficult because in order to get uh, in order to get a fully realized mask, we're gonna have to deliberately take as much. Uh, well, we're gonna have to play a little something. Did he just go right through solid? That was weird. Yeah, he fell over here, as opposed to most of the time when he falls down the doorway or falls down the ladder. Hmm. But anyway, in order to get the the <clears throat> the two of the jewels for the elegant mask, what you need to have, uh, you need to take, you need to. All right, I need to establish a scene. Later on, there's a part where you can, where there's two paths you can take. One, you fight an elegante. And the other one, you fight a bunch of villagers. But the only way to get both jewels for the mask is you have to fight both of them. That is a tall glass to order for a lot of people. Alright, I'm trying to take these fish because, uh, well, as you can see, I'm wasting a lot of health items, so might as well get some more health for the road. And this may seem easier. Well, no, uh, like, you might think, well, how do I have all this room in my backpack? Uh, many times when I play this game, I, I just don't have a lot of room this early in my backpack. Well, I haven't picked up the shotgun yet. Once I get the shotgun, all bets are lost. Okay. And I'm hunting down all these fish. Well, why not? I mean, they're here. You can hunt the fish down, you can eat them just fine. You can also sell them to the merchant and get actually a lot better money than you'd think. Although it's still not that much. So yes. Uh, yep, got them all. Ah. So yes. Here is all the fish with all my ammo all stacked up in a really ni nice and convenient Little pile. Oh my goodness. Look at all this nice ammo. See, I'm, I'm organizing things a little bit differently than I usually do, but why not? I'm trying to see what is the most logical way to place everything. And this is something I... This is one problem I have. A lot of times, I want things to look a certain way, so I'm going to take way too much time organizing things just to make them seem organized. You know what I mean? Alright. Okay. Ah, dang it. Ah, screw it. Okay. Hmm. Ah, screw it. I'm just going to be selling all that fish anyway. So, whatever! Anyway, we're going to make it out of the well. And yes, you didn't know we were in a well, did you? And w wait a minute. How did those fish get down there if that was a well? Now that I think about it. Well, wells are where you get underground reservoirs of water, but... A reservoir of water would probably not be connected to a river, and I shot that second bird on accident. I was actually trying to shoot that bird that was in the foreground. Okay. Alright. Knocked over the bear traps, and now we can look around a little more freely. Now look what we got here. Like this. And we can take this necklace. Got a brass watch. If you shoot down the watches before you break the hatch over the wells, you'll actually... <clears throat> what will happen is... The... The watch will actually fall into the... J just well of disgusting water, and it will actually depreciate its value. One could figure you could just wash it off, but Leon's too lazy for that. This is a weird puzzle in the fact that... It has a lot of different ways you can solve it because of the fact that 
there's so many ways you can just get to this symbol because it, it's just a ball and you roll it. So the result is it's a puzzle that's much easier than you think it would be. Anyway, take the ammo. Chief's note. As instructed by Lord Sadner, I have the agent in my confinement alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think he'd keep them separate, not confine them together as he as had been ordered. I don't expect Louise to trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a little bit more complicated. Wait a minute, how do, they said to keep him alive in confinement, but they sent someone to kill us. Hmm. I don't expect Louis would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. If for some reason an unknown party is involved, I don't think they'd let a chance slip like this slip by. Maybe it's all Lord Sadler's plan, leaving us vulnerable so that this third party will surface. If, the, if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a prowler is already amongst us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks uh, it's worth the risk, and if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment as always. Yeah, I, I noticed, now that I'm actually kind of sort of looking at the red paper, that's almost exactly what it reads on there. Then again, the handwriting is kind of odd. Man, this guy has a lot of random things just laying about this dude's room. The bed is only above average, considering uh, how big the guy who, whose bed this is, is. Alright. Got the insignia key. Now we will move on. And uh, the cutscene. And now, chapter 1-2 has ended. My hit ratio is only marginally improved. Um, but I still say it's better. So anyway, that's going to be the end of ch that's the end of ch this part of Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Join us next time for Let's Play Resident Evil 4, and then we will go back to the village, go through, go through that one building we couldn't go through before that I forgot to show. Go through the graveyard, go to the church, and then fight a giant fish alligator thing. See you guys uh, then.